One of the most common problems that we see as neurosurgeons in the specialty of spinal care is back pain and neck pain associated with what's called lumbar or cervical degenerative disc disease. It's by far the most common cause or the most common association of back pain and neck pain and spine pain is, is due to degeneration. Now this model is gonna show relatively healthy appearing discs. As you can see, the nice white discs and nice thickness of the discs is relatively normal. You can see in this model that these discs are dark, fractured. Uh, I'm gonna make some of them be real small because that's what happens in life is some of them lose their height. And the same thing can occur with the joints in the back of the neck. And these problems can lead to significant amount of pain. The treatment for spinal degenerative disease, uh, whether it's in the cervical or lumbar spine, uh, is conservative. There's no surgical option uh, that, that is effective in the treatment of disc degeneration or facet degeneration. The mainstay for treatment for degenerative disease that presents with pain in the back, leg, neck, arm, um, is going to be a combination therapy. And we offer that combined approach here at Legacy of a comprehensive team approach because that is that is the best treatment. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine uh, the our program, which is the Back to Life program, together with anti-inflammatory medications, um, muscle relaxers if needed, uh, neuropathic medications such as gabapentin and Lyrica, and with spinal injection treatments. The first one I want to talk about is the spinal epidural injections. Now this can be done in the neck, and that's called cervical epidural, the mid-back, thoracic epidural, or the lower back, which are the lumbar epidural injections. And there are a number of ways to do the, these injections, but the standard way that, that I'm going to uh, cover today and that we perform uh, predominantly in, in our uh, minimally invasive care center is the standard uh, interlaminar epidural steroid injection. You can see on this diagram uh, a needle uh, being placed into the spinal canal and this is epidural meaning it's, a, it's beyond the membrane. The yellow membrane here that surrounds all the nerves, these are little dots, and then there's nerves leaving the spine. And this needle is placed beneath the, what's called the ligamentum flavum which is a, a ligament right below the bone and this thin membrane called the dura. And, and that is the epidural space. And there, when injected, we inject a combination of steroid medication with saline, which is just sterile salt water, if you would, into that space in a quantity that allows it to travel up and down the spine, several segments above and below where the injection site is. And typical in the lower back, we go into L5S1. Now, sometimes if the patient's problem is higher up, we'll go higher up. But the lowest lumbar segment is usually the safest and easiest to access. And in the neck, the cervical thoracic junction, or C7T1, is the safest and easiest to access as well. The needle is guided under sterile conditions, under our fluoroscopic guidance, into the spinal canal and we're watching this under the fluoroscopic guidance so that you get into the space that you intend to get into and not uh, too deep into the neural tissue. So just as a, uh, quarterbacks vary in their skills of passing the football downfield, so can the technician of these injections vary in their experience and skills. So we uh, have tremendous uh, experience here at Legacy. We've done of several thousand of these a year for the last 15 years uh, and this vast experience um, and experience with the surgical knowledge of the spinal canal and the nerves and the disc uh, I believe allows us to deliver these shots with the highest chance of, of effectiveness.